Hey there, I'm Dan, the self-proclaimed Lonely Rocker from the YouTube channel, Lonely Rocker, here for Icon Pro Audio to help you with your ProDriver 4 powered audio interface. Now, some productions require some pre-mixing of multiple sources, and ProDriver 4 is a powerful application that works alongside your Icon audio interface. So what I wanna do in this video is I'm gonna show you how we can take different sources, and these are sources that we're plugging into the actual interface, as well as blending in some sounds from our system. We're gonna use loopback to achieve that, and we're gonna pre-mix that and have it ready for your production, whether you're doing live streams or you're doing podcasts. And we're gonna save that as a preset so it's always gonna be ready anytime you're ready to jump into one of your productions. All right, let's get started. In this tutorial, I'll be using a Duo 44 Live hooked up to a Mac. The DAW I'm using is Logic Pro. You actually don't need a DAW if you're sending your mix to another recording device, but I'll show you both methods. The concept here is I want to set up a simple demonstration where I can stream three sources at once, all pre-mixed in ProDriver 4. With the Duo 44 Live already connected to my system and ProDriver 4 installed, I plug in a microphone into channel 1 and an acoustic guitar into channel 2. The third source will be a movie file I have on my computer. To access the audio from this source, I will need to utilize the loopback features. On a Mac, click the sound icon at the top of your screen. Choose ProDriver Loopback. This will send any audio sources on your computer to the first two loopback inputs in ProDriver. Let's set up our session in ProDriver 4. Here you have six slots for saving mix presets. Choose the one you want before setting up your session. I'll choose number one. Levels for your input sources can be monitored here. By default, my mic comes up on input one and my guitar is on input two. The audio from my movie file is in stereo and can be seen in the first two loopback inputs. This simple grid lets you assign sources to different channels on the mixer. Without assigning anything, each input is assigned to its corresponding output. So if you were simply passing the signals through to your DAW, there's nothing much else you need to do. Channel one would come up on channel one in your DAW, for example. To set up my mix, I'm going to do the following. I'll assign my mic on input 1 to channel 1 in the Pro Driver Mixer by clicking this box in the grid. We can now see the level in the corresponding meter. For the guitar on input 2, I'm going to assign it to channel 2. The channel 2 grid marker needs to align with output 2, and so on. The stereo signal from the movie will be assigned to channels 5 and 6. As an alternative, you could assign multiple input sources to the same mixer channel. If I change the acoustic guitar to channel 1, both the mic and guitar will be controlled by the same fader. In this case, I'll leave them assigned to independent channels and unlink the faders so I can mix them independently. Adjust your mix to taste and send the output of your interface to your phone or recording device and you're ready to go. Anytime you come back to ProDriver, you can recall your session by simply selecting the corresponding mix preset. To configure your system to record this session in your DAW, follow these next steps. The inputs in your DAW need to receive the signals from ProDriver and not directly from the interface. So make sure to choose the version of your interface that says ProDriver first. So in my case, I will choose ProDriver Duo 44 Live. If I choose the Duo 44 Live option, I will only receive the signals plugged into the actual interface and not the signals being mixed in ProDriver. I set my output to Duo 44 Live and will monitor everything on my headphones plugged into the interface. On the first track, I will select input 1 to receive my mic. And on track 2, I will select input 2 to receive the guitar. The loopback signal is in stereo and appears on channels 5 and 6, so I will create a stereo track and set my input to 5 and 6. All of the tracks are set, levels look good, let's roll. Today I want to take a look at the Duo 44 Live and explore some different recording options. Why don't you join me? Cue the intro. Yes, I'm Dan the Lonely Rocker and I'm taking a look at the Duo 44 Live and I want to explore some different recording techniques. Uh, for one, we've got an acoustic guitar. So I want to take a look at recording this instrument and see the different options that we have and how we can incorporate that into our main production. Let's get started. 
Well, there you have the basics for setting up ProDriver 4 for your next production. Certainly hope you found that helpful. Now, perhaps you want to elevate your premix game. Well, ProDriver 4 has got you covered and so do we. We've got another video right here that talks about enhanced routing and adding plugins to your premix. So make sure to check that out. We'd love to know what you think about content like this. Let us know in the comment section. Until then, I'm Dan the Lonely Rocker for Icon Pro Audio and we look forward to seeing you again in another video.